Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today I'm going to show you some basic shapes that you can start with for free form crochet. In the introductory tutorial I have, we started with just a basic circle using a chain three for the center and working some double crochets to create a circle. I do recommend that you check out this tutorial first because I won't be teaching all the steps for a basic scrumble. In this tutorial, we're going to start with a magic ring and we're going to work off the circle to create a shell and then we'll do a triangle shape a square shape just a basic rectangular shape and this is the same type of idea but we're working from a single crochet up to a double crochet and I haven't fastened these off because I'll be using them in the next tutorial to build off of these to begin to build some scrumbles using some more advanced stitches. But for this week's tutorial, I'm just going to show you some of these basic shapes you can start with for your scrumbles. So the first shape we'll work with is a shell shape and this builds off of a circular shape and I do show how to do that circle in the first tutorial on the introduction to freeform crochet so I do recommend going back to that one just so you know your basics and essentially you're starting with either a chain three to create a ring or a magic ring if you know how to do that and you're doing double crochets until you have a nice full circle and for this tutorial, it would be helpful to know how many double crochets you have for your basic circle for later on when we do a square and a triangle shape. So here I have 14 double crochets and this tutorial we fasten off here with an invisible stitch. But to create a shell, you're going to carry on and join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your beginning chain three and you're just going to go into the top loop and join with a slip stitch and we'll carry on with a second round so now chain one to begin and in the previous tutorial I was mentioning how basically with your first round when you go to do a second round you need to do two stitches in, for every stitch you have in order for your fabric to lay nice and flat and for um, the increases to work. So then we'll do a single crochet into that same stitch and and then we'll do two single crochets into the next stitch and working into the back loop and this creates a nice little uh, texture. So now I'm going to start to build the height of the sh shell shape and do a half double crochet into the next stitch and another half double crochet into that same stitch. Again going into the back loop or the top loop. And then I'll do two half double crochets into the next stitch. And in the last tutorial, I talk about how you want to build your stitches gradually. You want to go from one stitch size up to the next size. So a single to a half double to a double to a treble. So now I'm going to go up to a double crochet and I'll do two double crochets into this next stitch. and then I'll do two double crochets into the next stitch and working into the back loop yeah it just creates a nice little ridge around uh, for the pattern you don't have to do this and of course you can build this spiral uh, the shape at any rate that you like. This is what I think is a good rate. You might want to do more single crochets or more half double crochets and more double crochets, uh, whatever you like. And so I'm going to do a double crochet here and then I'm going to do a treble crochet into that same stitch. And again, when you increase, you can do a double crochet and a treble crochet in the same stitch or two doubles in the same stitch or two trebles in the same stitch. It totally doesn't matter. So now I'm into the trebles. So I'll do a treble into the next stitch and another treble into that same stitch 
and you can see how that's building a nice shell shape and you can go as far as you like with this. You could stop here and add on a new color at this point and carry on. I'm going to just do one or two more trebles and so it's totally up to you. This is just a basic shape that you can start with for your scramble and you can uh, work this as far or uh, as long as you like. So there you go. And now you can change colors here and carry on going in the same direction and, and carry on going around. You can add on at the end here, which is what I show in the previous tutorial, how you can add colors at the end of that stitch. So that is your basic shell motif. Next, we're going to do a square motif. And so when you count the number of stitches you have in your circle, that'll give you a guideline as to how many stitches you'll need because it needs to be divisible by four. So I had 14, so you can round up to 16 or go down to 12. I'm gonna round up to 16. You may go down to 12 if you have a heavier weight yarn. So it's totally up to you. So for the square, we're going to start with a magic ring. So you just lay the yarn on your left hand like that, holding it with your thumb, bring the yarn around the front, cross it over the, the back, and then flip your hand over and have it laying on the front of your fingers. So you have the two strands on the front and then put the hook under the first strand grab the second strand from behind and you're just going to sort of spin it like that. And you can hold this and pinch it with your thumb and forefinger and your tail be to the right and your working tail be to the left. And then you can just do a chain one. Then I'll be showing this again for the triangle shape. And then you can pull that nice and tight once you have all your stitches in there. So to do a square, the it's divisible by four. So if you're doing 12, you'll do two double crochets on the flat edge and a treble for the corner and two doubles and a treble, two doubles and a treble, two doubles and a treble. If you're doing it with 16, you'll do three doubles and a treble, three and a treble, three doubles and a treble, three doubles and a treble. So, and I'm going to want to fasten off in the middle of the side, like where the double crochets are. So I'm going to start with the middle double and that's a chain three, which is the second double on that side. So I'll just do one more double crochet and then I'll do my treble crochet. So yarn over twice and work the treble. Now this ring can be a little bit awkward. So of course you can just pull that in and snug it up a bit. So it's a little bit easier to hold. So now you're going to do your three double crochets for your flat side or two if you're working with your count of 12, but I'm working with a count of 16. So I'll do three double crochets for my flat side and then a treble crochet. So you're going to repeat that two more times, three double crochets and one treble, treble three double cro crochets and one treble. And I'll see you when you're there. So I've just finished the treble. And remember I started in the middle of those three double crochets. So the last stitch will be a double crochet. And you can uh, fast, fasten off and then you just want to pull the magic ring nice and tight and tighten up your center and work your square shape like that and you just sort of have to fuss with it a little bit to pull the corners out and then you're going to pull the yarn through there and we'll darn in this tail end using an invisible stitch. And this makes a nice neat finish so you don't have any knots to work into. So you're going to come into the back of your the third chain of your beginning chain three, 
going under the V stitch of that beginning chain three and we're creating like a mock stitch. And so you just sort of want to make a, a mock stitch and you're coming down into the V stitch where your yarn is coming out of, going into the back of your motif here and just making that look as even as possible. And then you can make this inner circle as big or as tight as you like. So you can just pull that tighter like that. So I pulled that nice and tight. And then of course you can darn in all your tail ends and there you have a nice square shape. So that's a really nice beginning shape for your scrumble. Now we're going to do a triangle shape. And in this one, it, this needs to be divisible by three. So I know my starting, my circle here was 14 stitches. So I can either go 15 or come down to 12. So I'm gonna do 15. So now we're gonna do another magic ring. So put your tail over your left hand, come around the front, cross it over along the back. You can pinch that with your thumb, flip your hand over and hold it with your baby finger. Put the hook under the first strand, grab the second strand, pull that through and do a little twist, just like that. You can hold it with your index finger and your thumb. Your tail will be to the right, your working yarn to the left and do a chain one to secure that. And that does count as your first chain one. So for this one, we are going to do a double crochet, two half double crochets, a double crochet and a treble crochet. And that will be your flat side. So I'm going to start with the middle half double crochet. So I'll do a chain two and that'll be my half double crochet. Then I'll do the double crochet. And the reason for doing this is when I join the round, I want to join into the flat part of the motif. I don't want to be joining from a double to a treble or a half double to a double. So now we're going to work the corner, which will be a treble. Or the, so we're starting in the middle of the first side of the triangle. So work the treble. And if this ring is too big, just pull the yarn. So now we'll work the side. So we'll do one double crochet, two half double crochets, and just pull that again a bit, and a double crochet. And then we're going into the corner with a treble crochet. And that's the second point. So now we'll work along the next side with a double crochet, two half double crochets. Now, if you're working with a stitch count of 12, you would just do a one half double crochet along your flat side. And now I'm working back up. So I'll do my double and then work a treble, which is the last point. And then I'm back to my starting side. I'm just gonna pull this in a little bit here and then on this side, I'll work the double crochet and then the half double crochet. And that's the last side. And then again, just cut this off and pull that through and snug up your center ring here. You can just pull the tail through into the back and snug that up just like that and 
shape it into your triangle there. And then again, we're going to do this invisible stitch and going into the second chain of the beginning chain two with this invisible stitch. And then you can pull this magic ring as tight or as loose as you like. I'll just take this off here. And then of course you wanna darn in your tail ends, just like that, but you have a nice triangle shape to start with. All right, so you have a shell shape, a square and a triangle. So now we'll do a rectangle type shape. So in this one, you're starting with a slip knot. Put that on your hook and you'll begin with a chain three. And then you're going to do a double crochet going down into the, going under two loops of that first chain and bring your yarn through. But rather than completing this double crochet, you'll do a chain one. Hold on to that chain and complete your double crochet. It's a little bit awkward, but just keep your thumb on that chain. Yarn over, go back into that chain stitch, going under the two loops of that chain stitch. There we go. Pull the yarn through. Again, you're not going to do your double crochet. You're going to start with a chain one. Hold on to that chain and finish your double crochet. And then again, yarn over, go back into that chain one. And this is called a foundation double crochet stitch. So going under both loops, pull that through, do a chain one, hold the stitch and do your double crochet. So I'll do a couple more here, go into the chain, pull that through, do a chain one and do your double crochet. So I'll just work this along here for a few more stitches and I'll come back. So here we go. So you can see here, this creates a nice little beginning rectangle and you're basically doing a chain one and a double crochet all at the same time and you're creating this nice little foundation shape to work into. And you can work off of this in any direction. And when you're working along here, if you lose track of where you are with your chains, you can see the chains are these obvious V stitches. So if you lose track, just flip it over and look for the last obvious chain stitch. And that's the chain one that you work into. And you can see as it turns over, it works into a double crochet. So that would be the stitch that you'd work into in case you get lost. So again, going under those two loops, do a chain one and finish with your double crochet. So you could join on a new color here, just like I show in the introductory to freeform crochet. You could work off of this with any type of stitch design and you could make it as long as you like too. Now we'll do one more shape here. So starting with a slip knot, put that on your hook and start with a chain two. And now we're going to do a foundation chain single crochet. So going under those two loops, bring the yarn through and, and instead of doing a single crochet, you'll do a chain one, hold on to that chain and do the single crochet. And then go down into that chain one, pull the yarn through, do a chain one and a single crochet. And then going down into that chain. Now you can do as few or as many of these chain, uh, these single crochets as you like. So there's three and I'll do one more. And then I'm going to go up to half double crochet. So there's the chain one and the single crochet. 
So now we'll do a half double crochet. So yarn over and go into that chain one. And you, if you lose your place, just look and find that last V stitch there going under the two loops. Do a chain one and then a half double crochet and holding on to that chain one at the bottom. So again, yarn over, go into that chain one, going under the two loops, do a chain one and a half double crochet. So you could do this with say three single crochets, three half double crochets, and then go up to a double crochet. So I can't remember where I'm at. I've lost count, so it actually doesn't matter. So I'm going to go up to a double crochet now. So go into that chain one, do a chain one, and then I'll do a double crochet. Whoops. It seems like it wanted me to do a half double crochet, but I wanted, I want to do a double crochet. So there we go. That's the double crochet. And then again, going down into that chain one space, do a chain one. And now it's just like the little green sample, except we're tapering up from a single crochet to the larger stitches. So again, go in and do the chain one and then do your double crochet just like that. And so this won't actually straighten out. It, it creates a bit of a curve because of the different stitch sizes. So when it lays like that, it has a nice curve to it, which is a really fun shape to work with as your sort of center shape for your, for your scrumble. And of course you could make this as long as you like and I'll do a couple more here and you could even work up to a treble crochet if you like. I'm just going to do a couple of more stitches here doing the doubles and so you could go up to a treble and then the other thing you could do is you could start to go down with your stitch size and go down to half double crochets and single crochets and that would make a really fun shape as well. And then of course you can add on a new color here just like I showed you in the previous tutorial. I'm just going to bring this yarn through. So you have that fun sort of shape there, this rectangular shape here, the square, the triangle, and your shell shape. And those are all really fun beginning shapes for your scrumbles. And I will be doing another tutorial with some more advanced stitches and we'll be working off some of these beginning shapes here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.